Thank you, Mrs. Toastmaster. Hello, guests, Toastmasters. Glad to see you here. Yes. How many of you have ever heard of essential oils? Wait, do that again? Okay. <laughs> All right. I must be living under a rock because I just found out about them about a month and a half ago. <laughs> I didn't know anything about them. A friend of mine from high school contacted me about a month and a half ago and said, Lee, I sell essential oils. You gotta get some essential oils. They are going to change your life. She said, last winter, me and my daughters, we got sick with the flu. But my husband, he didn't get the flu. And you know why? It's because he was using essential oils every day. I said, Gloria, don't you know that some people just don't get the flu and others do? <laughs> you really think it's essential oils? And she said, no, it really is. I know it works. You gotta try it. So I thought to myself, okay, well, I've got a research and presenting speech to do. And this is a perfect topic for me to research. I can learn a lot, I can share it with some Toastmasters, and then I can decide if I want to buy essential oils. So, I'm gonna share some information with you all. The first thing that I learned is that there are two types, major types, of essential oils. They're non-blend oils, those are oils that are of a single type. So think of peppermint oil. It's just peppermint, nothing else. And then you've got your blend oils. Those are your mixed oils. You've got a lot of different oils mixed together. So, first off, I found out that there are tons of oils that exist. So how am I gonna research that? Well, I'm not gonna do that. That's just too much work. And then, there are a lot of benefits that are claimed for all the various oils. Again, I don't have time for all that. So I narrowed it down. And what I'll show you are the ones that I've chosen. Here, we've got our non-blend oils. These are the four that I chose. Peppermint oil, rosemary oil, tea tree oil, and lavender oil. So let's get into what I found. We'll start with peppermint oil. Here are the benefits. The truth and the fiction. All right, so people say that it improves skin health. I found that it truly does. I looked at research studies and found that there are truly benefits for your skin with peppermint oil. Also, people say it lowers your fever if you rub it on your feet. It's not true. There were studies on it. It just doesn't work. So just stick with Tyler. Rosemary oil. Fight fatigue. Research studies found that it truly does fight fatigue. And it improves your memory. I need some of this because I could not remember this whole list. <laughs> Tea tree oil. This one gets interesting. So people say that it boosts the immune system. And that's what my friend told me her husband had used to prevent the flu. Well, studies found that it was inconclusive. So they had the control group that had a placebo being used, and then they had the real group that was using tea tree oil. And they found that the, they had about the same results between the two for that, for the immune system. Skin cancer slows down skin cancer. So the University of Western Australia found that tea tree oil reduces the size, the size of tumors for skin cancer. They found it first on mice, and then they found it in uh, lab samples, petri dishes. But I couldn't find that any clinics actually use this as a treatment yet. So, I would say that it's still inconclusive. It would be great if it actually helps me. Lavender oil. This is some good stuff. 
Very good stuff, and it smells great too. Reduces anxiety, it's true. Reduces the pain of migraines, that's good. I actually had a migraine this morning. I didn't use lavender oil, I used something else, but maybe I'll try it next time. Now we're going to get into the oil blends. Look at these names. <laughs> Brain power. Common sense. <laughs> you guys want to get some of those for your coworkers? <laughs> <laughs> Highest potential. Ooh. Hey, sign me up. <laughs> Stress away. Yeah. All right, let's look at the, the benefits that they claim. Promotes clarity and focus. How are you going to prove that? <laughs> no way. Common sense oil. It enhances rational decision making. <laughs> <laughs> highest potential oil. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Helps you reach your highest potential is what they say. It's just not proven. Stress away oil. This is the one that's true. It contains lavender. That's the miracle. Miracle behind that. So here are all the sources behind what I've shown you. The National Center for Biotechnology Information, National Library of Medicine, National Institutes of Health, at all these various websites. So if anybody's interested, I can share this with you. The University of Western Australia for the Skin Cancer Island. Got a Western Australia family there. So in conclusion, as you can see, there is some truth behind it, but there's also some fiction. There are also inconclusive results. So if anybody wants to sell you essential oils, my recommendation is that you choose what's best for you. They can be a little bit pricey, but there can be benefits. So why not try it? Hope I helped you guys. Thank you.